you argue Confucius is like a nexus in China's history. What exactly do you mean? Yeah, I think uh, Confucius, in terms of time span, if we say China, Chinese civilization has 5,000 years of history, he is kind of in the middle, right? He lived around 2,500 years ago. So in terms of history, he is connecting the very ancient with everything that follows and everything that he actually has influenced so much since then, since these 2,500 years ago. And we don't know why, but at approximately the same time in many civilizations, you see uh, founding fathers, so to speak, phil philosophers appear, ancient Greece and ancient uh, Iran and ancient India. And in China, uh, Confucius, uh, nevertheless, somehow to me, he sticks out because his, um, his uh, uh, influence, his impact has been so immense, not just China, also Japan and Korea, but even on an international level, right? Yeah, I, I think what Confucius did is he provided seeds, so to speak, um, intellectual seeds, which have to be unfolded by everyone who studies his works, we have to unfold them by ourselves. So they're, they're, they're for example, in the Analects, Lun Yu, uh, we find uh, sh very short dialogues of Confucius with his students, uh, remarks, aphorisms, and they are not uh, fully grown theories. Uh, for example, Plato or Aristotle, they tell you in a very detailed way what they mean. And Confucius um, is not such a theoretical Thinker. He wants you to unfold these thoughts in your own way, in your own life, and to come to your own conclusions. He doesn't present you with a, a fixed theory. And I think this is the secret. This is how, how this tradition became so immense, how it became so powerful, right? because it's, it's, a, it's seeding uh, the ideas into the lives of people directly, which is very different from... from uh, you know, providing a very uh, few hundred pages volume. Yeah. I think this to put to put culture, cultivation, um, self integration into these contexts to the idea that we have to perfect ourselves individually, as as family members, as members of society of a state. This mm -hmm. idea. Is 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 genius, right? And this is this is uh, the what makes a difference uh, compared to many other civilizations, right? Uh, you, uh, and I think this is also one of the reasons why China was able to, uh, as as a civilization, to develop over so many periods of time. There are, there were also certain centuries when Confucian tradition was not in the center or even not forgotten, but but was not very influential. So there, there have always have been these ups and downs, but the fascinating thing is that Confucian lore always re-emerged and uh, always um, yeah, provided a kind of a um, foundation to fuse and absorb other elements which had uh, found their way to into Chinese civilization and um, to, to see also these new angles and new elements from this traditional perspective. Yeah. So it's, it's like a growing tree, right? There are the roots to the very ancient past, but the, the, the tree is still growing.